Oh my god, is that Essence of Shay? And in my head, I'm just like, it's just like, get in the car, girl. It's just like, me. Right. <laughs> you a snake, man, you've been alive. I, 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 cut us down, man, you multiply. I don't care, man, I fly to you. Air Jordan's while I take flight. That was a line from back in the day. Big up, girl, she will be doing fine. I, I, where the time go? Bye bye to my own flow. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Essence of. Shay, this is the bestie Fila. Hey, what's up? Y'all probably up? know her because the last Yo, time she was, was cursing me out, she was up and, and through this damn video, <sighs> this channel, yeah, I wasn't feeling what Shorty had to say about the light skin, dark skin conversation. People was really mad at you for telling me that I shouldn't feel no, that, the way I... So I'm gonna statement. give you a chance to clarify yeah, before we get into the when video. When I tried to clarify it with that person, it didn't go well either. I literally just saw these comments just now. They're old though. I didn't see them until yeah. somebody recently like, not to cut you off, they recently like commented on something and I was like, what? Yeah, it was like I was like, yeah, feel like I said time. what? The big issue was me saying that you shouldn't feel that way, but I don't know if it was interpreted incorrectly or how I said it. Like, first off, let me apologize if I came off some type of way, because that's not even what that video was meant to do or how I want to come off to anybody. Like. I said in the video also that colorism is a real issue, but when I said that you shouldn't feel that way, you were talking about how society portrays dark-skinned women and how it makes you feel. That was my response to that. Like, you shouldn't have to feel like, you know, your skin isn't beautiful or that you're beneath a light-skinned woman or anything outside of feeling like you're beautiful, strong, and just as powerful as I am. I think when I said that, it got taken as if I was saying you shouldn't feel the way you feel about yeah. being a dark-skinned woman. <laughs> that's not what I, I think was saying. I think that's how um, people interpreted what you said. Saying so she cleared it up. That's not how I was saying that. Show the bestie <laughs> some love. What? After I said that, I even said knowing that you feel that way makes me angry because you shouldn't feel like I'm better than you because of the color of my skin. Like, I said all that right after it. So, I mean, but people interpret things differently. But, please, I did not mean it that way. I was not sitting here like it's not a big deal. Like, this is my sis. Like, her pain is my pain. Okay, so this video, I wanted to talk about friendship and what is the definition of such thing and what do you expect from your friends the reason why i wanted fee to come on this is because she is my one of my closest friends right now in 2018 one of my closest and really only to a point because everybody else who has been my friend are no longer in the picture because either they were toxic, either they only wanted to be in my life because they were going through it, um, or they were maybe jealous of where they thought I was, so it made them feel some sort of way, or we had a lot of miscommunication on my part or their part, different ways. Some people, when they say friendship, they say, well, we'll talk once in a while. Siri, nobody's talking to you, fam. <laughs> like, I didn't even touch the phone. That's that iPhone shit. <laughs> Some friends, you just talk once in a while um, mm -hmm. to catch up. Uh, when They don't have to tell you everything that goes on in their life. Um, yeah, things like that. What is your definition of friendship? And... Also, what do you expect from your friends? And what do you expect to give your friends? Hey guys, have you subscribed? Because you're always here. You might as well just click that subscribe button and be a part of the Tiger Lily squad. Gang, gang. Um, so my definition of friendship, right? It was the first one, yeah. right? To me, friendship is two people who are going to be loyal to each other. Who are gonna be there for each other when they're going through good and bad times because some people 
you can't celebrate the good times well and they just not there when you're going through bad times just somebody who you've developed a relationship with somebody you can trust somebody you know that's gonna have your back for me what i need from a friendship it's just loyalty, trust, and communication. That's what I need. I need somebody who I don't have to be second guessing. Like somebody I can go to and talk to when I'm going through stuff. Somebody I know that's always going to support me. And whatever I'm doing, they're going to keep it 100 with me. Whether I'm fucking up or not. Like I think that's especially important. Because sometimes you have friends and they don't want to tell you the truth about anything. They don't want to tell you you're wrong. They don't want to say, oh, that's not a good idea. Like, somebody that's going to give you real, raw advice and not be afraid to, like, pull your ass to the side. I mean, like, you know, you need to get on your shit. Like, yeah. that's the type of friendship that I need. It takes a lot for me to call somebody my friend because I've been through it mostly with females. Like, I don't even have a lot of female females friends. Females are a different species, man. Yeah, I probably have, like, you and, like, one other female that... I call my friend, but like all the females that I've been friends with are not friends with them anymore for various reasons. I see to be, it's easier to be friends with guys. No offense to the girls out there, but you know, we know how we Why are. Why do you think is that? Because I feel the same way too, but somebody else might be like, that may be an issue or something that you need to dig, dig deep in if you feel like you could be more cool. Because, for instance, at my job, right, mm -hmm. there's this girl who is, like, there's probably, like, two girls. Me, her, and a bunch of dudes. She's nice to all the guys. Like, she'll be, oh, my God, <laughs> hey, how you doing? And then, and then, and then. Yeah. How you doing? And, and, and then when it comes to me, she's like, hey, Shay. Mind you, I just started, so she can't have no issue with me. Yeah. But it's just like... The energy is not the same. Some people just connect more with dudes than they do with girls. Yeah, so, yeah. So why do you think that is? I mean, I can only speak based on the female friendships that I have that I don't have. I think it was because I was trying to be friends with females that wasn't in the same type of energy as me like they didn't have the same type of vibe it's just completely opposite i mean we're opposite but we work but like other females that i've been friends with i think i, I don't like to say because i don't want to come off conceited but i think sometimes when you try to be friends with females and they want to compete and they're jealous and envious of you even though you just be like chilling it makes it hard to have a real friendship and then like people like to be fake too like they want to be your friend for whatever reason to get whatever they could get out of you and then they don't want you no more yeah i just feel like for me i wasn't connecting with the right type of people and like mostly it was females that i was having friction with for whatever reason i mean not to interrupt you for me friendship to me, is like a, an extension of family. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, like you said in the beginning, I should be able to reach out to you, good or bad. I should be able to talk to you about certain things, vice versa. So mm -hmm. whatever I expect, I expect you to expect that from me. Mm -hmm. I expect you to be honest. I also expect you to be honest with everything. Like if you get a big deal, I should know, I feel like I should know about it. I shouldn't know about it through social media. Because it's just like, okay. Well, you ain't so you talk to me yeah. about this dude who do your, did you wrong or your job is annoying or any family issues. But then something good that happens in your life, you don't tell me about it. Mm -hmm. That's kind of whack. So, um, but I do feel like opposites do attract. So, yeah. if you're like... In reference to what you're saying, like if you're a, part, a person who parties and stuff like that, that doesn't necessarily mean that me and you can't be friends. It's just that there's just certain things you and I don't do together. Mm -hmm. yeah, like yeah. certain people have different friend relationships in their life. How you would take care of the relationship with your know, brothers and sisters, your mom, your cousins, whatever. I feel like you should have a sense of pride yeah. when it comes to your friendship. 
So once you have a sense of pride of that friendship, you would treat it as such. Like, you would treat it with a sense of respect. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I feel like with me, why a lot of my friendships probably didn't go the way that I expected it to go is because I expect something from a friend. And if I don't see it, I kind of like back away. Mm -hmm. I just feel like sometimes I if I have all these issues with friends mm -hmm. and none of these people are my friends anymore is there a problem with me and then even a person with my mom who's not she don't sugarcoat stuff she's dead serious honest I mean she would be like if something was really wrong with me she would tell me and she was like because you are a people pleaser like you want to make everybody happy and you'll do all these things for them mm -hmm. and you expect them to do that back for you which they should if they were truly your friend like yeah. you see them as your friend yeah. but they don't do that for you so it's like that's why the, the friendship either doesn't fa falls apart or doesn't fall apart but you feel if they're still your friend is like but why are we friends because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not yeah. getting what I give. Yeah, yeah. It's all like a relationship. I'm not giving. If you're with a man, a boyfriend or your girlfriend, if they're not giving you what you give to them, at one point you're gonna be like, "Yo, why? Why am I even doing? This? Like, what are we doing? <laughs> what are <Yeah>. we doing? <laughs> like, and if yeah. you see them make all the like, I just posted a video about the ten reasons why. Well, I don't know when this video is going to come out, but I did a video about the 10 reasons why you should cut a friend off. And that was one of my things where I just was like, yo, if this person don't make time for you, but they make time for everybody else, mm -hmm. it's clearly they don't want to be your friend. And sometimes that's hard to hear, but mm -hmm. if you expect things from people and it's not happening, should you then just lower your expectations? I don't think you should lower your expectations because then you're going to have friendships where people are just going to be walking all over you and like that's kind of like accepting the fact that these people are probably not really meant to be your friends but I'm just going to keep them around because... So I'm not alone or yeah. I don't feel like I don't have a group of, a group yeah. of friends. Yeah. And then sometimes I think you just outgrow your friends. Sometimes yeah, you that just can happen too. end up your life just changes and you go on two different paths and you know you just grow apart. Not to say that you're not friends, but you just kind of it's not the same as it was in the beginning because yeah. your life is not the same as it was before. Or maybe when you guys were closer together and you're venturing on doing your own thing. I mean that happens too. But then sometimes there's just people in your life for whatever reason they're supposed to pass through your life and they wasn't really supposed to be your long-term friends either and you were just supposed to learn a lesson. So, yeah. I mean, it's, it sucks, but unfortunately when you have relationships and friendships, you got to go through this whole wave of nonsense with people to filter out who's really here for And you. social media makes you feel like shit because social <laughs> yeah. media will post all these girls yeah. trips and oh my yeah. this is my sis yo and we always we yes, ride or die yeah. and we go to restaurants Word. and movies and clubs Word. and all this stuff all the time Word. and you're just sitting at home like fam man i don't do nothing i don't be doing but a lot shit. of that a lot of that is for show too because that's what but that's what i'm saying yeah. social media will make a person feel like crap yeah. because all social media shows it's is a highlight reel Why she getting tight because I said do you but then I was like maybe it can't because I was with my sister and I'm like does this text message sound rude she was like oh you probably shouldn't have put the do you in there and I'm like all right you probably right so I'm not even gonna get She's mad like, right now you probably right though certain things certain things trigger people yeah but then it's but, like but, can't take everything personal yeah too. it could have been that and something else so that's what I'm saying but sir that I have this argument a lot with people 
that what you might not be, what you wouldn't take, w wouldn't take or wouldn't bother you, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. say that for yeah. somebody else. So if I said do you to her at the end of the thing, she would probably be like, all right, well, yeah. I'll talk to Shay later. <laughs> To me, I'm like, because how she started it, and then she ended it talking about do you, yeah. I'm like, bit Because I kind of... In my head, I'm, yeah, like, I'm like, hold up. <laughs> I felt like you... the It was... From my On my end, I felt like you kind of was using that as an excuse that you didn't want to meet me. So no, because I had just the, came from... It was like a I didn't Saturday. Know that, but I didn't know that you had worked that late. What was it, last week or the, with the question thing? When I was like, ask me a question. Oh, I was joking with that. I'm like, this girl. I would just wanted to bother you because on Instagram, it'd be like, you know, it say, ask me anything. <laughs> so I was like, how are you my best friend? Be and trying. I don't hear or see from you. She be trying. And I ended Kiki, do you love me? <laughs> I hate that song so much. <laughs> I want to hear that shit no more. Oh Anyways, y'all, the moral to this story is friendships are not perfect. You should give and take. You shouldn't mm -hmm. just give. I mean, take, 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 and don't give. There is a relationship. It's not always going to be perfect. You guys are not going to always agree on everything. You guys will see different sides of the spectrum, but you have to just learn to have res You shouldn't learn. You should automatically have respect for your friend yeah, and sure. have a conversation instead of dead in the issue. But at the same token, if your friend ain't handling they parts, cut them. It's as simple as that. Because it feel like keep acting up. Why well, gotta be me acting up? She going. Like you never act up. I mean, I act oh according God. to how people treat me. Thanks. So Enjoy this conversation. Don't forget to like, comment, and sub to this channel. Uh, go to our channel. I'll mm -hmm. put the link in the description box because I really do not know the name of that channel to be completely honest. I'm gonna be like, hey girl, what's up? Hey girl, hey. If it's a restaurant, you can buy me something to eat. Or guys, guys, be nice. Be nice. Take my girl out on a date. Wine and dine her because she deserves it. She needs a good man in her life. This just turned into a dating channel. That's what we're going to do the next this one. Is Tinder? Dating channel. You're going to do a video like Soul you're, Swipe? What did she you gonna, talk about? We're going to do a date. Win a date with Shay thing. Bam. Put no. your comments. Put your comments down there if you think we should do win a date with Shay. Nope. Yep. We're not doing Come it. Come on. This might... part of the video will not be Yes, it included. will. Don't edit this. I surely will. Don't edit this. Don't How do does it start off with friendship and end with dating relationship? Because oh, we only God. love. We Why? Only love. <laughs> I can't be bothered. Crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the curb.